Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a beautiful textured watercolor popsicle in the app IBS Paint Text. So this is going to be a step by step tutorial and I will be sharing the best details. So don't skip the video anywhere. Let's get started. First, I am going to open a FST canvas in my IBS Paint Text app and for a better watercolor textured illustration, please use this um you know uh, canvas background i'm using drawing paper rough 3 so in the first layer i am going to choose an area in my canvas to draw the popsicle so i have not uh, directly uh, used the brush um if you already following my channel and if you already watched any of my watercolor in tutorial you know about this uh, and if you are no, uh, new to this, so I am explaining why. Because, you know, when I select a particular area and apply watercolor, it gives better texture, better uh, perfect details than uh, just, um, you know, going on straight with the brush. So here you will uh, understand better once I completed this illustration, why it is more important. Uh, to select the areas so here this is the area and here you can see I applied the white color in this area in first layer using the lasso fill tool so why am I doing this is in the another layer I'm applying the watercolor and if there is a white background uh, and I'm drawing the same thing and exporting as a PNG I would have the better um, you know uh, watercolor artwork um, with you know exact color that I use if I'm just uh, simply selecting the area and applying the watercolor and if I'm using that as a PNG uh, for any other thing then uh, it you will not get the exact same color unless you use the white background for that um, whatever it may be so for that uh, reason I'm applying the white color in a separate layer and then in the next layer I'm going to add the watercolor popsicle color details so here I'm using watercolor edge brush and you can try any of that uh, a watercolor edges edge brushes I'm using simple first one so here you can see uh, when I use the watercolor edge brush it, I you know I can get a better textured watercolor one so for uh, uh, blending you can try this transparent watercolor water brush so this is uh, like uh, adding more water to your watercolor painting if it is a traditional watercolor painting if you want a mild textured uh, one without having too much color on it then what you will do you will um, apply less color and use more water for your watercolor illustration in the same way to um, make it more tan uh, transparent and you know uh, to have high watercolor texture just use these watercolor uh, blending brushes so now using the watercolor bleed brush you can add shades and if you want to blend you can use that as well for uh, here I'm um, just no, uh, making them merge a little bit in this area and applying a little bit of color as well. So to add a little more texture to uh, bring some variations in the color, I'm just adding a little bit of darker shades here and there. Since the popsicle will not be in the same color with, you know, it is not in a solid color. It have so much texture so much color variation here and there so yeah that's why I'm doing this so again with watercolor water uh, brush I'm just blending it a little bit now remove this selection using this option now I'm going to select from this obstacle just this area uh, if you uh, have already seen the popsicle you know that there will be 
two lines like this that's some videos uh, obtained from that um, you know popsicle mold so just select this area also one side of the popsicle to add some you know shadow details so yeah i'm selecting this i'm not going to apply any color here instead i'm going to use the adjust color filter go to that click on the tone curve so tone uh and we we're going to tone the color so adjust the curve like this and you will uh, see so much difference when you move this curve here and there so try on your own you can uh, uh, adjust the curve overall uh, using the RGB option or you can simply keep the other color as same and just uh, change the color of red using the um, red column uh, at the bottom you can find the RGB so the, in this way I just vary the color a little bit and um, the perfect lines will not uh look good so i'm going to blend it a little bit here and there like this so blend it so use green in the area of green and red in the area of red now I'm going to keep all the layers as multiply. Now just I'm going to draw some watercolor seeds here. So I'm selecting this area. Uh, since the seeds will be inside the popsicle and so, uh, some will be heading out. Uh, some will be partially visible. So all this thing happened. So you can keep the shapes random. You don't need to draw the exact shape of the seed. So here you can see once I'm done, I'm going to remove the selection and using the watercolor, uh, water, a transparent watercolor brush and using the red color, I'm going to blend them a little bit so that it looks like uh, some of it, a half of the seed is faded uh, out uh, inside that popsicle and it is visible partially so now once it's done so now I'm going to create another layer for the stick of this popsicle so select this area once again in the same manner I'm going to select apply white color in a particular uh, in separate layer and then in a new layer i'm going to apply the color for a stick like this now with white color i'm going to fill this area here you can see now create another layer above that and I'm going to apply this color. So this is the watercolor edge brush. If you want to add some color variation, you can go for multiple colors or the other option is uh, reduce the opacity of the brush and apply the color with the same color. So yeah, I almost done adding colors. Now the same concept again. Uh, I'm going to remove the selection area and again I'm going to select only some part of that stick like this and using the tone curve filter under the adjust color filter, I'm going to add some color variations uh, to this stick. like this now go to filter adjust color and tone curve making it 
slightly darker and using the watercolor transparent watercolor water brush merging it a uh, little bit and again i'm going to select one more time do the same process like this yeah and my stick is also ready blend it little bit so next just add a create a folder and apply uh, i mean add all these layers inside that and duplicate this white um, area white layer and bring it out of this folder so now i'm going to merge all uh, uh, these two white popsicle details and i'm going to apply drop shadow either you can simply apply the drop shadow you can get like this other option is if you want to make it like a sticker then increase the size just by using the zoom option and just like this we have to adjust further so clicking the perspective form again and fitting it a little bit like this now just i'm going to add a little bit of details here because it looks like it is more attached to uh, you know to that now when you apply the drop shadow you will get like a sticker so you can try any of these style so if you want to make it look like a sticker then you can go for this uh, way just adjust the angle and push in it so like this now say this as png and here is our watercolor Popsicle. You can also try save this as transparent pop, uh, PNG. You'll get like this. Now, also show the result. Here is my popsicle, watercolor popsicle. I hope you like the texture details and my technique. So, uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.